So by now, I know many of you guys have seen the Adrian Broner video of him in Walmart uh, throwing his change away on the ground saying, AB don't need change. Now, this doesn't move me in the sense of he's ignorant, he's a bastard. It, it doesn't move me in that direction. But what it does move me in the direction of is that we have to learn that true power is in is empowering the powerless. You know, it's kind of like uh, um, this concept is often rarely used and uh, never duplicated. And uh, and we live in a society where 75% of us are a paycheck away from being homeless and 51% of America is divorced. We have to take the initiative and learn how to create a, a village in our community. Now, would I have ever done something like this? Not in a million years. You know, I I would never uh, I would never be the most colorful person in the rainbow. I I don't want to be that person. But what I think Adrian Brona should have done is just paid for the person that was behind him groceries. If Adrian Brona don't need change, uh, I I I believe he should have did that. And in the society we live in today, where uh, everyone misappropriates or abuses power you know uh we see it all across the world all across you see it on these tv shows like where if you have power you know you uh you put it in front of people in a in a chauvinistic manner and uh i thought adrian broner i mean he still is i mean i mean if you're batting eight out of ten times seven out of ten times you know since the sean porter since the Sean Porter incident, we've seen tons of maturation videos of Adrian Broner. So uh, I don't think it's a wise move to say, oh, now Adrian Broner is just back to doing what he is, back to the old Adrian Broner. I can't say that because if you look at his timeline and I've had time to, and I've spent time with him uh, shooting this movie, um, he's obviously grown. And, and, and I've seen a side of Adrian Broner that... Uh, that many of you have never seen, you know. Uh, I should post this video of uh, speaking of Adrian Broner. <laughs> speaking of Adrian Broner, that's Sam Watson calling me right now. But uh, uh, I got to be at his house at three o'clock today. But getting back on subject, you know, it's just uh, uh, important that we use our power to empower the powerless. And I'm not. This is not going to be a long video on Adrian Broner. But I want that to be the example for us as a reminder that in this society, you can do nine things right and do one thing wrong and you're the worst person in America. Because if you see the comments on everyone's video, oh, he's a nigga, he's ignorant, he's a, you know, you got coons on the left, you got coons on the right. But I just want you guys to be sure to know that you can do nine things right in this world and do one thing wrong and be ostracized for the one thing You've done wrong and never given credit for the nine things you've done right. You know, I've uh, I've personally since June, since I did that video and you guys have known me from that video. Uh, Adrian Broner has helped out Sam Watson. That's Sam calling me again. And uh, but uh, I'm gonna make the video short because I got to meet with Sam later. And I know that's what he want to talk about. This is Barbershop Conversations. And I uh, appreciate you guys supporting. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.